Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I will be showing you what I received in my third 2021 cloth and paper subscription box. I get both the Pinspiration and the Planning and Stationery box. I hope you will enjoy this unboxing. The cloth and paper company is located in Richmond, Virginia, and I don't live far from there. So when I get the notices that my cloth and paper subscription box has been shipped, I typically get it the next day or the day after that. Very, very fast shipping. So here are the two sheets that always come in each cloth and paper box. There is a card which shows images of what inspired the items in the box. And here is a pen test sheet. And here is a listing of what's inspired inside the box. So the first item that we have here is a cleaning checklist. Now notice that the paper is bent just a little bit right there. On the cleaning checklist it talks about what I could be doing daily, what I could do monthly, what I could be doing weekly, and what I could be doing quarterly. And here is a quote at the top. It says, when your environment is clean you feel happy, motivated, and healthy. And I agree with that. So an example of what is written here for daily, it says daily it recommends that you make your bed, clean dishes, clean stovetop, wipe down counters, disinfect sinks, tidy up living spaces, and spot, sweep, and vacuum. Now with this being so big, I can't really put this in my planner. So my thoughts about this cleaning checklist is that I like the idea of them helping us out with trying to get a routine. I just don't know about the size of this because it's not like I can actually, I only get one of these, so it's not like I can actually check it off each day. I am excited already because I see something that I really want and it is this. So the second item that I received in this cloth and paper box appears to be page flags. I really like this color. The color is a brownish color with maybe gray undertones. Very, very nice. And these page flags are a half an inch this way and one and a half inches this way and you get 50 of them. Now page flags are helpful in your planner if you need to mark a certain section and maybe go back to it later. You may not always want to use a big page finder or a big divider to find certain information in your planner. Sometimes you want to mark and point to a specific spot so these page flags will be helpful for that. So let's try these page flags out. Now at my first touch here, these page flags feel shiny, so I'm wondering if they will be okay to write on. So let's try it out. Place this here in my planner. As you can see, the sticky stuff is on that side. And this is my cross point five millimeter rollerball pen. And I am pretty much able to write on these just fine. My pen skipped a little bit right there, but I know I need to get a new pen feel. So I don't think it's the page flags, it's my ink pen. So they seem to write just fine with rollerball. Now will it smear? You probably need to give it a few seconds to dry. The page flags are slightly transparent. You can kind of see the lines under there. The third item received in this subscription box are these circle sticky note set. This is called Palette Volume 2. And with this circle page flag set, you get three colors here. And you know what? This reminds me of makeup, like a makeup palette. It's very visually appealing to me. These are colors that I'm drawn to. I'm naturally drawn to brown with my makeup, so I really, really like the colors of these circles. Now with these circle page flags, you get 25 of each. And the information card says that they included two of their new colors, which are beige net and quartz. And these circles are 1.25 inches in diameter. Again, I'm able to write on this just fine. The fourth item received in my cloth and paper subscription box are these fog color bar lined notepad. And on the information card, it says there's no such thing as having too many notepads. And I totally agree with that. And there are 50 sheets in this notepad and it looks like this when you open them up. The next item received in my cloth and paper subscription box is this wave dashboard and the description card says you can't stop the waves but you can learn how to surf. I heard that. So let's punch holes in this. I have the Franklin Planner classic size and when you go on the website to order the cloth and paper subscription 
That size is not available, so what I do is I order the half page size and I just punch my own holes in. With this dashboard, I'm going to place it in my Franklin planner and a binder because I think it will match. And that's how it looks there. Now when I feel across the design, this is raised. So it feels like great quality. It does not feel like somebody just took a printer and printed off this dashboard on regular paper. The next item received in this box is a window dashboard. And a description card says that there's not quite like opening your windows on a warm spring day. And that is true. I noticed that this dashboard feels differently from the last one. This one is more smooth and it feels like it is also a premium cardboard. So I'm going to punch holes in this and place it in my planner. That's how it looks there. Now when I rub across this dashboard it's just flat. Nothing is raised on it. The back is plain. The next dashboard received in the subscription box is this dashboard that is called the logo file dashboard. And Logo file is a noun and it means lover of words. Now this dashboard feels similar to the window dashboard and, and the print on it is not raised, but it feels still uh, like a premium dashboard. Next we get these half page cleaning inventory inserts. At the top it says cleaning inventory and here is a place where you can write in a list. It says supply list and you can write in a list of supplies that you need for cleaning. And down here is a box for reminders. Now this might be helpful. I noticed the theme in this box has to do with cleaning and I think that's so appropriate because at the time of this video it's time to do some spring cleaning. So as you can see this window dashboard is more of a cream color and this is a nice clean white color. So in the subscription box you also get these cleaning inserts to complement the half page inserts that I just showed you. At the top it says cleaning and chores. You can fill out one of these for each week. So this is week of and you can put the week that you're cleaning for. And then here you can list your daily chores. Oh, and here is a tracker starting on a Monday, ending with a Sunday. I really like this. So I don't write down things that are already a habit, if that makes sense. I write down things that aren't a habit. So if there is something that you like to do each day, that is what I would recommend that you write down. But for simplicity purposes and for examples here, you want to do a chore of making your bed daily. And as you do that each day, you can just check that off and it looks like that. So next in the middle section here of the insert, you have the days of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, all the way through Sunday. Each day you can list a few cleaning chores that you want to do. And down here is a section of lines for notes. I'm very, very happy with these inserts. I think these would be helpful. So this is how the cleaning chores insert looks with the half page inserts. They complement each other. The next thing received in this subscription box are these email call minimal task card set. Now I received some AM PM cards like this in my first subscription box and after using them a while I'm not really a fan of these and these appear to be the same. So on one set of cards it says email and on the other set of cards it says call but they are like these are like the size of business cards I don't see much use in these and how they can be used let me know in the comments if you have these or if you have an idea on how these can be used for me if I have to email somebody that's something that I would write on my planner inserts I wouldn't get a separate card like this and write it on this card because a whole bunch of different pieces of paper especially cards like this that don't have sticky stuff on the back of them and you can't stick them anywhere they can easily be lost and it can make you feel unorganized to have a whole bunch of pieces of paper all around here are some journaling cards and I really enjoy getting journaling cards because I love to journal so let's quickly just go through these so you get a card here for May 2021 and I noticed that I get one of these in each box it is transparent and the month is written out here 
here. The next journaling card is this grateful quote card and it says the more grateful I am the more beauty I see. Oh, And then this journaling card which is more of a rectangle. This is a fresh start quote card and it says a fresh start isn't a new place. It's a new mindset. And you also get a month view matte card and it has the month of May here for 2021. And now it is time to get into the Pinspiration. They call their pin subscription Pinspiration. So as usual, I get the clear pouch here. If I like, I can put my pins in here or repurpose it for something else. Now this pen has caught my eye just simply because it is packaged unlike the other pens. So I'm going to try this pen out first. Now this actually says this is a glue pen and I'm so excited. You think that you would get writing pens. Well, not necessarily. You could get a glue pen. So let's see how this works. This is how the tip looks of the glue pen. Oh wow, this is kind of cool. And look how small the glue comes out. I'm going to use one of these cards to see if it will actually stick. But the nice thing about this glue pen is you can see the color. It's like a light peach color. So I'm going to take this. I know this is a little weird. And just, we're going to just stick it here and see if it will actually stick. We're going to let that dry a little bit and see what happens. Okay, my number one pick, my favorite pen out of this Pinspiration box is this Uniball 1.38 tip pen. It glides very nice across the paper. It is a black ink pen and it is a push pen and hear that snap. And that's important because I noticed after I did my last video, some of the pens I had, I couldn't hear that snap. So this speaks to the quality of the pen, I think. So this is how the tip look. It's, it's very, very fine, 0.38 millimeter. I like how this writes. Because I have a Japanese planner, the paper is very, very smooth. When this pen writes, it grips the paper and it's great for like Tamo River paper or paper that's really, really smooth. Also, the reason why this is my number one pick is because look at this you have a clip like this on the pen. Now, why is that important? Now, here is my Franklin Planner, Japanese Franklin Planner here. I like this clip because you can stick it in your pen loops by just squeezing and placing it in like that and it will stay. I noticed some of the covers for Japanese planners. Now this is not a Japanese cover. This is a Franklin Planner cover. I love it. It is the Anna cover. I'll link it down below if you're looking for a great leather cover. But with a lot of the Japanese covers, their pen loops don't have elastic. So they have like this huge pen loop and you have to attach the pen with a clip like this. This is, I think, the prize of this Pinspiration subscription this month. In second place of my favorites for this month will probably be this glue pen because it actually surprised me that it was included in the Pinspiration. Third place is this blue Keiko pen. This is how it wrote. It's a 0.5 millimeter and it's blue and it writes well but I realized with my purple pen that's made exactly like this is that it sometimes skips. You know sometimes pens skip at first when you first start writing with them. I have been journaling with my purple durable pen. So that's why I did not place this one higher on my list of favorites this month. And fourth place would be this and this is actually a mechanical pencil. I'm actually not a fan of mechanical pencils. It's just not a personal preference. I prefer to write with a wooden pencil because I sometimes have trouble like I might press down too hard and then this lead breaks and like it flies up in my eye. So I kind of have a complex about mechanical pencils but my daughter loves mechanical pencils and I will probably give this to her to use. One thing to note about this mechanical pencil is that there is no eraser on it. You know the whole purpose of using a pencil is that it's erasable so you don't have a an eraser with this so you'll have to use a separate eraser. Also the pencil is a 0.7 millimeter and this is where I wrote with it here. I like pencils that write dark and this pencil writes like a light gray. That's just something 
to keep in mind too about this pencil. And my least favorite pen, I would say it would be this one. That's the first I wrote with here. Now, nothing is wrong with this pen, and maybe I should have moved it up further on my list of favorites. The pen writes very good, very reliable, but there's just nothing remarkable about it that stood out to me. But it was a good writing pen. So let's see how the glue did. Okay, it did pretty well. That glue totally sticks. This totally works. So let me know in the comments what you think, what you liked, what you didn't like. Would you do a subscription like this or would you not? Please let me know in the comments. I love, love, love talking to you guys. I respond to every comment. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. This is Tanya Plants, helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.